Tensions have been running high in Croatia as voters prepare to go to the polls on Wednesday. The ruling Conservative Croatian Democratic Union, or HDZ, led by Prime Minister Andrei Plenković, are supporters of Ukraine. While an alliance of centrist and left-wing parties, informally led by President Zoran Milanovic and his Social Democratic Party, have come out in support of Russia. The NATO country's parliament was dissolved in March following yet more accusation of abuse of power, which Plenković strongly denies. Even if there have been mistakes, we are fixing them. And what we have is the energy, enthusiasm, devotion and love for our homeland, which all of these candidates will demonstrate not only during the campaign, but even more so in the future when they serve in the Croatian parliament and the government. President Milanovic surprised many by announcing his bid for prime minister and began campaigning on behalf of the SDP. However, Croatia's constitutional court judges intervened, deeming the move unconstitutional. They ruled that the president cannot run for prime minister, participate in parliamentary elections or campaign for any party unless he resigns immediately. So the one who comes, and we are not in a hurry, we will have the mandate to form the government with 76 signatures. That will be me after I resign from the position of president. That's the game I play. This election holds significant implications not only for Croatia, but also for Europe. If the HDZ retains power, Croatia is expected to maintain relative political stability and continue supporting Ukraine and its fight against Russia. But a victory for the SDP could potentially open the door for stronger pro-Russian factions in the Balkan state, similar to what we have seen in Slovakia and Hungary. Topics related to things like the economy, foreign affairs, internal affairs, security, social issues, they have completely disappeared from public discourse. And everything gets boiled down to only whether you would rather have Pilankovic or Milanovic. For a country which doesn't have a lot of political culture, which doesn't have an awful lot of democratic tradition, this represents a few more steps back. Since gaining independence from Yugoslavia in 1991, the HDS has largely held power in Croatia. The nation joined the European Union in 2013, and just last year, it became a member of Europe's passport free travel area and the Eurozone. With European elections also around the corner, we will soon see whether the people of Croatia want to keep to the west or start pointing east. Abdul Wehab, TRT World.